here on Ice Time TV with long-standing Cardiff Devils player, and dare I say Devils legend, Mark Richardson. Mark, how are you? Oh, good, thank you. Um, the weekend ahead, it's pretty big. Friday night against Manchester, a key game in the league title race, and of course that Challenge Cup final on, on Sunday. Um, but I assume you share your player coach's mantra, it's one game at a time. Oh, definitely, yeah. At the moment, you know, we're just looking ahead to Manchester, and uh, it's a tough place to go, tough arena, and um, we've got to be ready. And, uh, you know, if we play the way we have been and, and uh, you know, really, really pushing on against these teams, I feel we got a good chance to win that one and, and then we'll, we'll look at some. What do you put this run of form down to? Because uh, for the last four to six weeks, maybe the Devils have been playing their best hockey of the season, their consistent 60-minute hockey. Yeah, I think, you know, this, this season our team, we're, we're very deep on the roster and, um, you know, being able to play four lines, I think guys are a lot fresher and... Um, it's just belief too, you know, guys are, you know, this time last year maybe we, you know, had a couple of games and then you start wondering can we do it, but this year there's just belief and we're taking it, as you say, one game at a time and uh, at the moment it's been working for us. Uh, we always ask you, but you and Andrew Hotham, the uh, the steady twosome there, probably the best deep pairing in, in the league. Uh, third season together and it's as enjoyable as ever? Oh yeah, it's always great playing with Hoth. Uh, you know, sometimes I have to remember that I'm playing hockey and not just watching him. So, you know, he does he has great skills and, uh, you know, obviously the side that people probably don't recognise as much as how good he is defensively too. And, uh, you know, it's great playing with him. And, uh, you know, hopefully it continues. Hopefully it continues. Uh, how difficult is it for a defenceman going into that smaller rink now in Manchester in terms of gap control, things happening quickly, what you have to react to? I suppose for the netminders and the defenceman, it's, it's perhaps a little more tricky. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just everything, like you say, happens so quick and it seems like there's just bounces everywhere. It's a completely different game of hockey, you know, you can't be caught out of position. If you are, you know, things happen so quick, you can't make that, you know, make that few few metres kind of thing. If you're out of position, you can't make it back. So, no, you have to be ready. Um, you have to play strong, simple, you know, you have to be simple because you get the puck and you... You know, try and hold on to it too long, you're going to have a go on you. So just simple hockey, moving it quick and trying to keep the puck in there as well. Uh, he doesn't like to talk about himself and Andrew Lord's fed up talking about him. Joey Haddad, he's been on fire lately, hasn't he? A game-winning goal on uh, Sunday night, but he's a very quiet man, unassuming. Yeah, yeah, he is. He is. He is. When he comes to talking about himself, he's very quiet. But uh, other times, not so much. But no, he's, he's been amazing. He, he's so strong. And um, I think, you know... You put the puck in the corner, and no one can get it off him. And uh, when he's playing that way, you know, he just creates so much for his line mates, so much for himself. You know, he creates space. I know as a D-man, you know, even in practice, you go in the corner with him, trying to get the puck off him, and he can hold it for, you know, 10, 20 seconds. You're chasing around, and um, and then he's also showing that finish in front of the net, which is which is uh, obviously really good too. So, you know, he's he's, he's been playing amazing. So, uh, so now Jason Stone is, is in the stands and retired. You're sort of Mr. Cardiff Devils, playing in all three of the rinks, Wales National Ice Rink, Big Blue Tent, and, uh, and here you've won the Challenge Cup a couple of times with the Devils. You've lost some finals as, as well with the Devils. How does this feel right now? You, you, you're top of the league, the destiny's very much in your hands, and of course you've got that cup final in this beautiful new building on Sunday. Yeah, I think uh, at the moment, uh, it's all it is, as you say, is the destiny in our own hands, which is nice, you know, over the last couple of years, we've gone for the last few weeks, maybe needing a few results to go away at the moment, it's in our hands, uh, but that's all it is, I and mean, we've still got a lot of work to do, um, there's still plenty of games to go, but, um, you know, it's great, it's great that, uh, to look back as a club, as you say, all those years of kind of, you know, just, just fighting to make the, the, make the playoffs and be there and then see what we can do, it's great to, to be you know, in the third year going for the league title. I mean, it's, um, it's exciting and, you know, I obviously hope for the team, the fans, everyone involved in the club, we can push on the way we have and uh, make that dream a reality. Uh, we know fr uh, Friday in Manchester is going to be difficult, but turning their attentions to Sunday, as a defenceman, when you look down that Steelers bench, who do you want to be matched against or maybe not matched against? What's, uh, who, who are the players that stand out for you? Ah, I think... Uh, a really good lineup, you know, from the first line to the fourth line. I don't think there's uh, there's any weakness there. They, um, they're a team that keep coming at you. They do skate extremely well, but uh, so, so do we. And but I think it's going to be less for us worrying about them than worrying about ourselves and, and just being being ready to play a great game. It's a one-off game. You know, I think both teams will be going in feeling confident. Both both teams have been on, in good form. I mean, apart from Sheffield's loss, 
uh, and fight Sunday. They've been they've been winning hockey games, so you know I think it's going to be a great a great game. Uh, I said to Andrew Lord a few moments ago that he's got around about a month left of the season. You've got a little bit longer because, of course, you've got to Belfast to play for the GB in the World Championships, uh, assuming you're going to be selected. I, I don't have any uh, doubt about that. Uh, how much are you looking forward to that, representing GB on, on home soil? Well, as you say, if selected, it would be amazing to, to play on home soil. Um, I'm sure playing in Belfast is going to be a great tournament. You know, it's a, a great arena, it's a great city. and. Um, you know, if I'm lucky enough to be there, it should, it should be a really good time. And just finally, Mark, uh, we shouldn't forget that your brother Lee uh, wore the Devils uh, colours with, with pride. His testimonial year this year in Swindon, how's it going for him? Yeah, I think it's going really well. I think, uh, you know, he's, he's um, organised a few events and he's uh, decided to do it at the end of the season because uh, there wasn't many dates available and uh, hopefully um, by the 6th of May, their fans will be missing hockey and want to get down to a game. So I uh, know he's really looking forward to it and it's, it's well deserved. Well, Mark, always great to see you on Ice Time TV. Good luck for the weekend ahead. Thank you.